Namaste, cocksuckers. It's me, Ghost Boy. And I'm bored. So, and uh, I don't want you guys to go without content. Because I've done that in the past. And I may as well do this video. So now, I showed you guys every CD I have. But now I'm going to do sections of genres. And for this particular video, I'm going to do my core collection. Metalcore, Bosarcore, Hardcore, Deathcore. Uh, yeah. Then I'll have another one of just like straight up metal. But you know, Metalcore, it's, you know, it's metal for sure. It's real metal for sure. It's just not straight up metal. And all core genres are, you know, they're real metal, just not straight up metal. And that's not a bad thing. Not at all. And both star core is not really metal. So, whatever. Uh, let's just get into it. Uh, wait. Oh, if you hear me chewing. Because I mean, these little fuckers, they're delicious. These are Sour Patch Kids strawberries. Amazing. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So, first CD. They remember for those of that part. Now, I did not show this at all, but... The booklet unfolds into a mini poster. And I don't know if you see it, that rectangle right there. All of these all these mini posters you see right here, those are all CD booklets. So a few of my CDs are missing their booklets, but hey, at least it's for a good reason. And yeah, this one's always a bitch to put back in the sleeve for some reason. I know. Now you got homesick. I'm gonna keep saying this every time I show off the CD because I gained a tiny bit of subscribers. I don't know if they're interested in watching these videos, but the booklet, I fucked up the booklet. I don't... This might be part of a sleeve. Was this in a sleeve? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember. It's whatever. What separates me from you? The only, like, album they have that has, like, no metal. Common Courtesy, Solid Fusion, or... it's This album has its fair share of metalcore and pop punk. Probably my favorite album by them. I don't even know. Bad Vibrations. Oh, uh, we have no idea when the new album's coming out. Hopefully soon, though. We got Depth, The Sleepless. I consider these guys, like, the most melodic band in history. More melodic than, uh, Damn Affliction. No, the notification. Listen to them, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Sadly, the only other main CD I have, which is The Order of Things, I gotta get Fall of Ideals and Victim of the New Disease. The others too, but those are more important. Amity Young Youngbloods. I'm probably never gonna own Se Severed Ties because there's like one copy available on Amazon for like fucking $100. I'm sure it might be available on other sites, so I have to check that out. This is the original version of Chasing Ghosts. I don't know if they have uh, the deluxe version on the CD. I hope they do. Yeah, the reflection's weird because I'm watching uh, SML videos right now. I fucking love SML, they're so funny. We got the deluxe version of Let the Ocean Take Me. Actually, you know what? I'll just say this. My favorite like straight up metalcore album of all time. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely flawless. Summer vibes. Amazing. I don't have this could be heartbreak. Breaks my heart. Pun intended. I don't even care. Misery. And of course everyone loves you once you leave them. There's a good there this might make it to my top ten album of the year list. Oh shit, it's falling out of the sleeve. It's very slippery. See? Absolutely slippery shit. It's whatever, though. All right. Architects, Lost Forever, Lost Together. Their best album, in my opinion. Don't even try to tell me it's All Our Gods. Speaking of All Our Gods, All Our Gods. Have been notice? And Holy Hell. This uh, booklet is a poster, but it's uh, hanging on my ceiling. Because I like to look at it when I sleep because of the aesthetic. It's amazing. Tilla, About That Life. I don't care what anyone says. This album slaps. I don't care what anyone says. And Attila Chaos. 
This album also slaps. Bite me. And that's it for this stack. I have four more stacks that I'm going to show now. On to the next stack. August Burns Red, Constellations. And the reflection just keeps happening. Bubbler, August Burns Red. And Phantom Anthem. I think... Eh, you're gonna hate me. You're all gonna fucking hate me for saying this, but I think this is their best 2010s album. Their best album that they put on the 2010s. It's very winter-ish. Not me. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold, Sound of the Seven Trumpet. I don't have Waking the Fallen. I don't know why, but I don't. Bear Tooth Disgusting. I have both versions of Aggressive. The original and uh, Flux. Pretty too floppy. And Bear Tooth Disease. I gotta get the sick EP for sure. We got some post hardcore now. Being is an ocean. Dear God. And my favorite album by them, without a doubt, How We Both Wondrously Perish. I gotta see if they have their self titled on CD. I need that. We gotta get Waiting for Morning to Come. Wait for Morning to Come. Waiting for Morning to Come. And debating on getting Proxy, because that album is meh. And they got some Rapcore, Body Count, Bloodlust. Their best album. I don't care what anyone says. You can tell I like a lot of modern metalcore. You know what I mean? From the Rise and Sun Paternal, the, my introduction to... Not introduction, but yeah. Not my introduction. It's the album that got me into metalcore. I'd say the first metalcore song I ever heard was probably Unholy Confessions, and I didn't really like it very much. And here and now is like one of the best things ever. Uh, that's a spirit. Not really chorus that much. I'd say this is more like post-hardcore, I guess, than metalcore. It's got a few metalcore songs, but I grew to like this album. You know, I don't hate it anymore. There's still a few songs that I can't stand, but hey, what are you gonna do? The only deathcore CD I got still: Chelsea Grin, Ashes to Ashes. Some electronic work. The emotional discovery. Discover what the fuck? Fucking kill me. Discovery. Drop Dead Gorgeous, The Hot and Heavy. Yeah, we got some scene shit now. Yeah, don't mind the reflection. Like I said, I'm watching Super Mario Logan because I love his videos. Uh, and that's just a new day one. Electronic. New metal core. It's new metal core, basically. And future. Booklet folds out into a mini poster. And that's it for stack two. All right, so I think stack three is get what you give from the ghost inside. I can't stress enough how much I love this I love this album. I think you you all understand. You all know my love for TGI at this point. Dear Youth, of course the uh, man. I don't think I'm ever gonna forgive myself for taking the uh, sleeve out of because it does not look like Dear Youth. But at least it is Dear Youth. I might I might rebuy that. Honestly, but whatever. Ghost Key, if I don't make it. Um, I wonder if they have any CDs of their last album. I don't know. I'll have to check that. Gideon Cold, I gotta get the first three albums and might get the last one. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, good. Alright. Moving on to my favorite band. Hate Breed Perseverance. I still need Satisfaction and Under the Knife. I got everything else though. Rise of Brutality. My all time favorite album, Supremacy. For the Lions. Which is a really good album, actually. It covers. My second favorite album by them, which is their self title. Their weakest album, but still a good one, for sure. Divinity of Purpose. They don't have any bad albums, let's just face the facts. And Concrete Confessional. Oh, hey, Bree, they're another band that we don't know when the new album is coming out because they said it was, like, postponed indefinitely, but then I think Frank made a statement saying that he doesn't know when it's coming out. It might come out. I don't even know. So, uh, we got I Prevail, Heart vs. Mind, Lifelines. This is in my top three favorite metalcore albums. albums. Straight on metalcore albums, at least. 
Um, Trauma. My album of the year for 2019. I'm still sad that, that uh, my end of the year list for 2019 fell through, but I just want you to know that Trauma is my album of the year. And we got Issue, self-titled album, booklet, I mean, booklet. Sleeve is elsewhere because I'm a dumbass. Gotta get Headspace, might get Diamond Dreams, because I actually do enjoy that album. And I might get uh, Beautiful Oblivion, I don't even know. And I want to get, uh, what's it called? Black Diamonds DP. Judge what it meant, the whole, the complete collection. I don't know why I forgot that. And the last for stack three? Yeah, stack three. Kill Switch Engage, Live or Just Breathing. Wait. Oh no, see original. Yeah. 